Le conditionnel, the conditional tense, also known as the conditional mood. When is the conditional tense used? The conditional tense is used to talk about ambitions, such as, for example, what you'd like to do when you're older, as well as what would happen if something else happened. Generally speaking, if you'd use would plus a verb in English, you need to use the conditional tense in French. So, for example, J'aimerais être infirmière. I would like to be a nurse. S'il pleuvait, je resterais à l'intérieur. If it rained, I would stay indoors. The conditional tense is used in the first sentence because it talks about ambitions and it is used in the second part of the second sentence because it talks about what I would do if it rained. I would stay indoors. In other words, it talks about what would happen if something else happened. However, please note that the conditional tense is never used after si, unlike in English where you sometimes find would after if. For example, si tu veux de l'aide, demande à Paul. If you'd like some help, ask Paul. In this example, the present tense was used instead of the conditional. The way to work out which tense to use after si is to work out another way of saying what you want in English without saying would. So for example, we could say if you want some help, ask Paul, instead of if you'd like some help, ask Paul. Want is in the present tense and doesn't change the meaning. So the present tense is what we will use in this instance because we can't use the conditional after C. How is the conditional tense formed? Most verbs in the conditional tense are regular and all have the same endings regardless of whether they are in the first, second or third group. Regular verbs are formed by taking the infinitive and adding the appropriate ending. As a side note, for those of you who are familiar with the imperfect and future tenses, the conditional is basically formed by adding the imperfect endings to the future stems. As the stems are identical in the future and in the conditional, and the endings are identical in the imperfect and the conditional. So here are the conditional tense endings. E, 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 Yon, Ye, E. As you can see, the conditional tense endings are identical to the imperfect tense endings. So for example, parler, to speak, je parlerai, I would speak, tu parlerais, you would speak, il parlerait, he would speak, nous parlerions, we would speak, vous parleriez, you would speak, il parlerait, they would speak. Please note, when a verb ends in RE, the final E needs to be removed before adding the appropriate ending. For example, prendre, to take, je prendrai, tu prendrais, il prendrait, nous prendrions, vous prendriez, il prendrait. Here's a list of must know irregular verbs in the conditional. The stem for the verb acheter in the conditional is acheteur and the stem for the verb lever in the conditional is lever. The only thing that's irregular here is the need for an accent on the first E. The stem for the verb appeler in the conditional is appeleur. You need to add an L to the stem. And the stem for the verb jeter in the conditional is jetteur. 
Here you need to add a T to the stem. The next few verbs have completely irregular stems, so I'd advise you to learn them off by heart. The stem for the verb ALLER in the conditional is IR. For the verb AVOIR, OR. For the verb DEVOIR, DEVRE. For the verb ENVOYER, ENVERS. The stem for the verb ESSAYER in the conditional is ESSAYEUR. For the verb ETRE, SEUR. For the verb FAIRE, FEUR. For the verb PLEUVOIR, PLEUVRE. The stem for the verb POUVOIR in the conditional is POUR. For the verb savoir, sour. For the verb valoir, vaudre. And for the verb venir, viendre. And last but not least, the stem for the verb voir in the conditional is ver. And for the verb vouloir, voudre. Note that verbs in the future tense use the same stems, so it's a good idea to learn them by heart. Here's a little exercise. Pause the video and try filling in the blanks. I'll give you the answers in a few seconds. Ils aimeraient Tu voudrais J'aurais Vous seriez, elle jouerait, nous irions. Here are the links to my grammar, vocabulary, culture and pronunciation playlists if you're interested. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions, requests or suggestions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget, you can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. Bye!